Okay, cool. All you need to do is just hit the okay button. Nice. Okay, guys, so let's talk about mindfulness a little bit by way of introduction. So why might we practice mindfulness? Um, for me, there are many ways to answer this question, but we only have so much time. So I'm going to mention just a couple of them. So first up, for me, it sharpens up the most important tool that we have. So have a think about that. What's the most important tool or skill that we can develop in our lives that uh, the mindfulness works on? I'll give you the answer. Mindfulness helps us sharpen up the most important tool that we have, which is our minds. So if we think about it, our minds determine how we respond to emotional stress, physical pain, and every interaction that you'll ever have. So it makes sense to train it because all of our experiences are filtered through our minds. So it's a pretty big deal. So it's really helpful to understand it get to know how it works and be able to have some control over it. Um, we know what it's like to have an untrained mind. We know what happens when we're not very well in control of our minds. It's when we're feeling particularly stressed out or we spend a lot of our time overthinking or thinking about what just happened or what should have happened or what might next happen. Um, or we spend to think about all the things that we need to do or should do or want to do or haven't yet done. And we spend very little time actually quite balanced and centered and present. So mindfulness helps us with all of these things. I think I'll stop there. I think we'll do one, one benefit of mindfulness today. And maybe, maybe we'll turn this into a bit of a series and we'll kind of go through my top, my top five reasons I have Maybe we'll do that first one today, but that's a pretty big one, right? Absolutely every experience that you have is translated and filtered through your mind. So it's really helpful if we get to know it and understand it and decide how to use it best. So what we're gonna do now is move into a short meditation practice. And like I said before, you don't need any experience to follow along. You just listen to my guidance and go from there. This is always a good opportunity at this point. If there's anything that's nearby that might be distracting, now's the time. Pop it onto uh, airplane mode or turn notifications off. Any work that's nearby that might appreciate being taken off the desk in front of you, that would be a great idea. And of course, don't worry, distractions happen, things come up. If someone walks into the room needing your help with something, it's okay. But there are certain things in our environment that we do have some control over. So let's just do that. And this practice we're going to do works on paying attention to our breathing. And maybe afterwards, I'll talk a little bit about the reasons that we pay attention to our breath quite a lot as a foundational mindfulness practice and what we can learn from it. But let's have the experience first and find out how you have it. And then maybe I can talk a little bit more about it. How does that sound, everybody? Can we get some thumbs up if we're up for it? We've got some nods, we've got some thumbs up, we can get a little like that. All right, no, maybe not that far, that's too much for everyone, okay. So let's begin, as I always like to, let's just, let's just wake the body up, particularly if it's been sitting down for a long time all day. Let's just give whatever would appreciate a gentle massage, that tension, maybe a little stretch, and we're just starting to, as we do this, move our attention into the sensations in the body. We usually have our minds focused on so many thoughts that pass through it. And that's okay, that's good and helpful, but we're gonna move into a different form of experiencing the moment now. And that's paying a little bit more attention to what's going on in our moment to moment experience in the body, the sensations that we find. and See how that affects how we feel and think. And exist. So once we're happy that we've given the body the little stretch that it would appreciate, we're just going to find a way of sitting that feels comfortable. Comfortable yet also quite awake and alert. So that might mean we have our feet planted firmly on the floor in front of us. 
The back is quite nice and straight. The hands are in the lap or on the knees. And then we can just, if it feels comfortable, allow the eyes to gradually close shut. And as we do this, as we allow the body to settle and close the eyes, it's a bit of a signal to our mind and to our body that we're starting to settle in, to paying attention to how things are in this moment. We can give a little bit of a break to our thinking mind. In this space, there's nothing we really need to achieve or do like in other parts of our lives, we can just give ourselves permission to be, to settle into the moment. So we just get used to the body sitting here. And just allowing ourselves to sit here as we maybe just notice how it feels to have our feet on the floor. Notice it making contact with the floor beneath us. And having a sense of the body sitting here in the chair. And also the sensations that we notice in our hands. And then zooming the attention outwards and becoming aware of and having a sense of the whole body sitting here. Having a sense of the outline, the shape of the body, the space that it occupies in the room that you're sitting in. And then let's take a few slightly deeper breaths. So we allow the oxygen to come in fully into the body, in through the nostrils. And then the exhale, the out breath is long and slow and deep. We just repeat this a few times, bringing energy into the body as we breathe in and allowing the body to soften and settle as we breathe out. And then when you're ready, you can just allow the pattern of your breathing to return to normal. No need to control it or alter it in any way. But just taking your attention now and placing it down in the belly, in the abdomen. And simply tuning into how it feels in this part of the body as you breathe. You may wish to place a hand or two on the belly to feel this a little bit more fully, if that seems helpful. And our task here is simply to tune into the feeling of movement in the belly. We'll notice as we do this, we'll probably start to have some thoughts about this practice or some visual images will pop up. But we'll just get distracted by other things. And if this happens to you, just know that it's a good sign. It tells you that you're human. That this is what our minds do. And when you notice your mind has gone elsewhere, you simply notice where it went. 
And without any harsh or critical judgment, you just bring the attention back again, time after time, to the movement of the belly as you breathe. as best you can, playing, paying curious attention to each breath. As the breath moves in, it pauses briefly before turning a corner and breathing out. Before pausing briefly and breathing in and noticing how this cycle happens all by itself, naturally, without you needing to do anything. We spend so much of our time trying to make things happen, doing, forcing, pushing, resisting. This is a great opportunity to develop a relationship with your breath where you can just allow each moment to unfold without any need to control it or make it any particular way or judge it. And know also that if at any point things feel a little bit too uncomfortable or maybe a bit overwhelming, know that you always have a choice. You may wish to slowly and with awareness shift the posture of your body to make things more comfortable. Or maybe take your attention elsewhere. Maybe place it somewhere that feels more comfortable and helpful for you. And then maybe rejoining us for the guidance, if it feels right. And we can also notice how the breath feels. Is it short? and quick and shallow? Was it long and deep and smooth? Without judgment, just simply noticing. Maybe noticing if there's any tightness or tension in any part of the body. Noticing in the belly. And just allowing the breath to move into it, to open it up and relax it, to allow yourself to breathe easily and fully. as the breath moves in and the breath moves out.
it may be helpful to know that whether you find this experience really relaxing or enjoyable is less important than simply being aware of the experience that you're having while you're having it. We do this practice to become intimately familiar with the sensations in the body, with the thoughts that run through our minds and with the emotions. But our task is simply to come back time and again to our breath each time it gets distracted. And you may notice at certain points a sense of peace or joy. And at other moments, maybe a sense of frustration or impatience. Some moments your mind may feel quite focused and still. And others like there are thoughts running through it quickly. Whatever your experience, we're here to simply be aware of it and then come back again to the breath. And as we come towards the end of this practice, with our eyes still closed, if they are closed, just slowly starting to become aware of the space around you, the sounds around you. Sounds outside and inside and sounds nearby. And then becoming aware of the whole body once again the feet on the floor, the body in the chair, and the hands in the lap. Slowly starting to wiggle the toes a little bit, and push them down into the floor, wriggling the hands and the fingers. And with the sound of the bell, we can start to slowly bring some movement into the body. Just like how we began, a gentle stretch or massage, whatever would be most appreciated. And in your own time, if your eyes are still closed, opening them back up, taking in the room around you. And then finally, onto screen again, maybe taking a moment of appreciation for those who you've shared these last few minutes with practicing together. And as always in these sessions, we have a few minutes now, we open up the chat box. So let me do that. And it would be really interesting to know, as always, what your experience of that practice was, how it felt, or what you noticed. What did you notice about your breath and the sensations that you found there? Was the breath slow and deep? Was it shallow and short, or did it change? Or maybe how was your mind? Did it feel still and focused? Or were there thoughts rummaging around there, 
trying to take back control. Maybe you'd like to let us know how you feel now. Is it any different to how you felt when we began the practice? So the chat box is open if you want to let us know or ask any questions, that would be great. And if you'd like to include your name and where you are in the world, then that would be really cool because I can read that out too. So we have someone coming in saying, thank you so much. It was very calming. I'm gonna do the same thing in my long breaks. Awesome. Great, and this is absolutely something that you're able to do for yourself. We're gonna upload this onto the Study Stream YouTube channel. So if anyone's looking to repeat this exercise, then you can find it there and use it whenever feels helpful during your breaks. Leah says, I feel relaxed, thank you. Someone says, I was, I realized I was feeling angry and frustrated. This session made me acknowledge that fact and now I feel more calm. That's so interesting, until we take the moment to just hit pause and on the busyness of our day, we don't necessarily appreciate the underlying emotions that are at play and are directing our behavior. So it can be really helpful just as a check-in to notice how am I feeling? Someone says, my breath was quite short, but it was so good. In the beginning, my mind was wiggling around in my head, but now I'm so calm. I feel like the focus in the room now. Thank you so much. And that's from Elisa from Germany. Awesome, thank you, Elisa. Someone says, hi, I'm from Malaysia. I feel calm and relaxed. Someone else feeling relaxed, someone else feeling calm. Someone from the Philippines saying they're meeting a lot of friends. That's awesome. Ah, oh, Dario is asking around what a mantra meditation is. Yes, you can ask that question and I will answer that in a second once I've just gone through a couple of the other comments coming in around their experiences, for sure. Someone else says the feeling was so relieving and all the stress was gone from the Philippines. And someone else says, I was a little sleepy during today's session, but I feel more relaxed now. My mind was quite busy in the beginning. So just to note that what's come through is a lot of positive experiences, which is, which is great and which we can hope for in a way. But also just to say that if there's anyone out there who found that a little bit challenging for whatever reason, you know, it felt really, the mind felt very busy at the beginning and it still felt quite busy at the end, or maybe you noticed as you did it, as the mind got distracted and you realized it was really tricky to not be really harsh on yourself and have thoughts about, oh, I'm doing this wrong and maybe other people are getting this quicker than I am or whatever it may be. So if that speaks to you if that's true i just want to let you know that that's okay too and remembering that while of course we have the motivation to come to a session like this to hopefully maybe make us feel more relaxed or calm or whatever it may be the reason that you're here we what we like to do is take that motivation and that intention and we put it to one side while we practice meditation we kind of set the goal to one side and we focus on the process so when we build up with lots of expectation and hope, that can have uh, an, an effect on our experience, which is counter to the process of mindfulness, which is very much just about allowing ourselves to have an open and curious mind, a beginner's mind, we call it, without any judgment or expectation. And what we tend to find is that when we can adopt those attitudes in the way that we pay attention, we actually often are more likely to get to where we want to go, whether that is relaxation or focus or calm, more so than if we try really, really hard to get to that place. It's a little bit like if you're trying to fall asleep. Instead of getting tense and really hoping and praying and wishing that we can fall asleep, actually what we need to do is find ways in which we can just allow the moment to unfold. Because if we tense up around something, it kind of tends to take us in the opposite direction. And someone else, oh yeah, that's also the same comment about calming later. So just to go back to Dario's message around mantra meditation. So yeah, it's a good question. So there are different forms of meditation. 
the form of meditation that we practice here is called mindfulness meditation. And the way I define mindfulness meditation is about tuning into what's happening in your present moment experience, both around you and within you, with, um, with open curiosity and radical acceptance. So that's a bit of a, a wordy definition there, but the way in which that's different to something like a mantra-based meditation, the priority with a mantra is a little bit more in terms of clearing the mind to focusing on a single point of attention to the exclusion of everything else. We repeat a mantra, so all of our attention, all of our focus is taken up from that. And all of those other thoughts that otherwise would be there, those other emotions, there's not so much space for them. And what we often have as an experience when we practice something like a concentration-based mantra meditation is it can feel very calming and relaxing. And that's one of the great benefits from it. With mindfulness meditation, we spend a little bit of time at the beginning with a little bit of more focus, concentration-based technique. We allow the body to settle. We tune into the feet and the body and the hands. But then we move into the mindfulness part, which is really starting to take notice of whatever is happening in our moment-by-moment -moment experience. When the mind wanders, we notice where it goes, and we just bring it back to the present moment using the breath but we don't fixate on the breath in quite the same way as in a mantra meditation, where the, where the ambition is to focus on the mantra meditation to the exclusion of everything else. Whereas we're bringing our attention to the breath, but we're noticing when the mind goes elsewhere, where it went, and we're learning to be non-judgmental about whatever happened in the experience. I hope that um, explanation makes some sense. I hope it's helpful as well. We are at, 320, oh great, thanks Dario, he says he understands. Glad that was helpful. We are at 329 where I am in the world in the UK. So that is the end of our session, everybody. As I said at the beginning, we're gonna leave this room open now. So you guys can unmute and hang out and chat. But before we do that, just a reminder, uh, Raymond's just gonna pop in the chat the um, session information about when these sessions happen and the various ways in which you can join them and add them to your calendar. Also to say, and we're going to post it again in the chat now, um, we have started a TikTok account, so you just need to follow us if you are on the platform, studystream underscore mindfulness, you can find us there. And that um, I'm putting out about three videos a week or so on there. They're just 30 to 60 seconds or so. Um, and they're just little nuggets of uh, I hope wisdom and uh, insight that hopefully you will enjoy and will be able to use um, and, um, and use in your day-to-day -day life. So that's everything from me, guys. I hope you have really wonderful and productive and lovely days. We're back here to do it all again, same time, same place on Friday. So see you guys then. Enjoy the open mic. Bye guys. Bye 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 bye. bye. See you guys. Bye bye. Bye bye.